Hey developers, so today we are looking at some view two and some view three concepts, specifically dollar sign adders. So we're gonna look how you can take information from a parent component and put it to a child component. If you are looking for information on how view three works, on how view two works as of today, then you're in the right place keep on watching. And so we are gonna be creating this app right here. It's really simple. I have a super component here. We're gonna have these buttons that change our child component depending on when we click on them and what part of the child component's gonna change. Uh, but I also wanna just give a shout out to View Mastery. They are helping to sponsor and they're an affiliate for this video. They are the ultimate learning resource for Vue developers. If you want to deep dive into Vue.js, they have a ton of great content. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. It actually, uh, if you click on it and you sign up for one of their programs, I get a few bucks, it helps out the channel. So I really appreciate it. So yeah, check out View Mastery in the link in the description below. Cool, so here is the app right here. And right now it doesn't do anything. So here is the app as of today. This is a View 2 app because View 3 is still in beta as of this recording, but don't worry if you are watching this from the future and you wanna learn about Vue 3, we are deep diving into that as well. So this app is really simple. I have an app view and a super component.view, and those are the only two things. And this is a brand new fresh install of Vue. So inside here, I have a button. You can see here, I have two buttons. I have something that says parent component at the top. I'm using, by the way, Tailwind CSS, which I just added just using view add tailwind. And then I have a really simple data object and I have a counter and a background color. So anytime you click this button, it changes this background color from uh, nothing, which it starts off with, to bg-red 300 and bg-green 300. And if you're not familiar with Tailwind CSS, basically this is a class that we can add onto things to change the background to red or green. But what I wanna do is I have this really ugly super component. Here it is right here that all it has is like a random label. There's actually an input box here, which you can't really see, and a, a button that does nothing. So the first thing I, I wanna do is I wanna make these buttons work. I wanna click on these buttons and have the background of the super component change. So the first thing, if you know Vue or you're starting off with Vue, you'll be like, how should I do this? You might be thinking, props. I can pass down a prop. And certainly you could do that, but let me show you guys an easy way of doing that um, without specifically defining a prop. And we're getting to adders, dollar sign adders, so don't worry. If you uh, want, I have in the link in the description timestamps to everything I'm talking about. You can jump ahead if you want. But here's the super component. So what I wanna do is I want to change the super component's background color depending on these buttons. So instead of creating a prop and passing it down, I can just add any element I want onto the component. And uh, one thing you should keep in mind is that if you put any attributes on a component, it'll automatically add it to the root uh, node of the, of the child component. In other words, see how this div kind of surrounds this LR code in this template? So it's just gonna add it onto this template. So cool, so if I do something like this, class, and I act, I put bg color, color like this, um, I'm not gonna assign it a prop or anything, but if I, if I save it and I refresh, and I click this button here, you can see all of a sudden it changed this to a red. It's kind of a salmon color, I made it a little bit lighter red, but it worked. If I hit make green box, it's making it green, cool. And by the way, this, back text color is green too, so that's why you can't see it. So cool, I have done the first thing I wanted to do. I didn't need to use props or anything, it just added it. Now if we look at the code, and we have our handy dandy developer console open, you can see here's the, the div here. You can see it changing. I don't know if you can see that, it's a little small. My big head's in the way, but right here. BG red 300. BG green 300. So you can see here, it's definitely changing every time I click on it. And that's great because now uh, it just automatically adds it to the root uh, of the of the template that we're, we're doing with. But this has a little bit of a downside because what happens if we wanna apply it somewhere else? 
So let's say we had also an ID, I don't know, 12. And if I refresh this, you see it added in, here's the div class, and it added in ID 12 as well. So it added both of them in. Um, but what happens if I want to change that? So instead of going on the root div element here of this template, that I wanted to, I don't know, if I want to change the background color of the button itself. So how would I do that? Now, once again, you could reach for props, but what happens if you have, you know, many, many different props that are coming into this super component? Maybe you have like 10 things you want to pass in here. I mean, there's a, quite a few ways to, to figure this out, by the way, this is one of many, but we can use something called dollar sign adders. So the, essentially what you come here, uh, you, you come here and what you do is, what you do is you go into the super component inside here and we can take a look at what adders are. And I believe it's dollar sign ATTRS. And if we do that, you can see it has the ID in there. So we know that the ID is being passed down. So now what I can do is if I don't want this to automatically being added to this div here, see here the ID is in there and it adds this BG green 300. I can do something like this. I can do inherit adders false. And I put this in the child component and then I save it and I refresh here. And now you can see that uh, I'm pressing these buttons. It's still adding the class, but it isn't adding the ID. So let's take a look. So if you look here, this is the, let me make sure I get the right one selected. Here it is. So you can see here, I have H42. I'm still getting this background green color for the class, but the div is now no longer on there. So I could do something like this. I could do a, let's say I wanted to add the ID onto this button here. I can do dollar sign, I could do V dash bind, and then dollar, um, then do adders like this. And now this button here will now have the, if I click on here, you can see it now has this ID equals 12 in there. So that works, but you're probably thinking, Eric, well, what about the class? Well, that's unfortunately one issue with view two and this uh, inherit adders. You can't take this class right here um, and have it not bind to the, uh, the parent, basically the root element in your child component. It always binds to it. It's, it's kind of a bummer that you can't change that. So you always have to kind of deal with that, that if you're going to be binding this way with this class color. And same thing for style. Class and style are, will always bind to this root element. So even though we have, um, even though we have this inherit, inherit adders false in here, you could see this, uh, this component here as soon as I click this button, it goes ahead and adds it um, either way, which is kind of a bummer. So one thing we could do to fix this, once again, we have props, but uh, yeah, we one thing we could do to fix this is we could add in like, I don't know, some random thing in here, like color equals, and then have this bound to, let's say BG, uh, let's see, BG color. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna get rid of this so it doesn't change the background color. And now if you refresh it, you can see now color is also coming through and it's changing every time I press this button. And so, cause I'm outputting it just on the screen here. So you can see vbind adders is, is actually bound, but this is just gonna add in this weird color adder to it. So if you look here, if I'm pressing these buttons, it adds this color, but that doesn't mean anything. This attribute doesn't mean anything to button. So I could do something like this. I could go class, I can bind class here, and I could do dollar adders and then dollar sign or dollar sign adders dot color. And if I do something like this now, and I refresh it, you can see now it works as we expected because I'm pressing the buttons. It's, it goes ahead and changes it to green and red as I press the buttons. So that works. Um, you can also, one other thing is, let's look at dollar sign listeners real quickly. So if you go into the super component and I want this press me button to automatically uh, 
update this counter here. So I'll create a new method, methods. And inside this method, I'm just going to create a, I don't know, test. I'll, yeah, I'll call it test. And this will just go to this.counter++. Plus plus. And I want to pass this test in so I can do, I know, whatever I want, click. And then I want to pass in test. And by the way, this click here is just a name of any sort of event. And we can emit back that event if we want. If we refresh it, you know, nothing happens. But if we want to have this test work, we have something called dollar sign listeners. Um, this is for view two, and it changes in view three. So if you look at this dollar sign listeners, you can see it's empty right now. But there actually is a listener in there for this, uh, this event, this click test. So we can do like maybe this button right here. We do V on dollar sign listeners, listeners. Now when I refresh it, you can see it's updating the counter because it bound the dollar sign listeners, which had the event for the click event on there. And it went ahead and bound it to it so you could see it updating here. So that's a really cool way. Once again, we didn't have to use this dot emit. It just binds everything on there. So that's two ways of doing uh, adders and the uh, listeners. But let's take a look at what it looks like in view three. So just give me one moment. I'm gonna upgrade this to view three. Okay, so I went ahead and upgraded to view three. And you can see a little bit right here at the console that it actually gives you an error. It says dollar sign listener is, is deprecated. So it gives you an error right away that, uh oh, there's a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the server. So I got rid of the dollar sign listeners, but uh, let's see if the button still works. What? It still works. How is that possible? But the thing is, is now dollar sign adders has both the listeners and the adders. So in other words, anything, any events that you uh, you add to the your component and any of this these attributes are now inside dollar sign adders. So now I just need to put vbind adders and it works. You see I'm refreshing here, it still works, which is really, really cool. And there's also another advantage that you may not know about here. And I'm just gonna delete this dollar sign adders here because it doesn't show the listeners, it just shows the attributes, is you remember before how we had to create this kind of ugly color, BG color here, to be able to then have it bind to this class right here. And it was kind of a hacky way of doing it. And if I get rid of it, you know, nothing happens now. So one thing they did change is if I do class now, and I put this BG color in, and I refresh, I can look right here and I can look at this component and you could see here it no longer automatically binds the dollar sign a class to the root element of the of this of child of the child component. So now you you can actually put class wherever you want. So before we were kind of stuck with it, it was always there, but now class is working as it's supposed to. You can see it's actually changing the color because we have this vbind adders on this button. So it's automatically adding that class in, which is really cool. Uh, we could even, if we wanted to, and we didn't want everything in here, like let's say we wanted to just bind uh, the, um, just one element out of here and we didn't want to bind every, everything, we can do something like this, which um, which is a little hacky, I'm just looking it up right now. Okay, so we can do something like this. So we can create a computed property. And this computed property, I'm gonna call it filtered. You can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it filtered. And this filtered is, I can create a new uh, adder, adders, I guess. And I can do dollar, dollar, uh, this ellipsis here. So I'm going to, I'm gonna use the spread operator here and I'm gonna do this dot adders. And then I can delete whatever I want out of this new adders. So maybe I wanted to delete out that class. So it just left that ID and listener in there. Then I can return the new adders. 
And now I have this new filtered. So instead of binding the filter right here, I can bind or binding on this whole adders here, I can bind on my new uh, filtered. So I can just do, I don't know, filtered here. So if I refresh it, you can see here, this no longer works, but the counter still works. And if I check this element, it actually still got the ID. So it got the ID, it got the listener, but it didn't get the uh, class to change the background color because I deleted that. So you can see this is a pretty powerful concept in Vue 3 that you have a lot more flexibility uh, to do whatever you want. Um, to You can really use this in inherit adders. You can kind of move things around all without using props, which is a pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Uh, you might want to think too, um, just one last thing before I go. If you don't, if you have multiple, um, one nice thing about Vue 3, you don't have to have one root temp, uh, root element on each uh, a component. So if you have no root element on the component, then it actually uh, will actually, uh, it should give you a warning if you're trying to add values to the component like this, because it won't know which one, which element to put it on if you don't have a root element. Um, but you could still do inher inherit adders false and then just assign them with dollar sign adders wherever you want. Uh, I hope this helps. I'll put a link to the code in the description as well. Appreciate it. Thanks.